Good morning. It's still zero dark 30, but uh, it's an exciting day today. We are finally getting back to building. We've had a decent break, not because we wanted one, but because we sort of had to. Um, in the previous video, I've sort of explained all of that, so I won't go over it again, but it's really nice. It's very exciting to be getting back into it today. Summer has pretty much disappeared here in Tassie. Well, we haven't quite had snow, but we've had a frost. Uh, we've had pretty good summer, but I reckon it's starting to turn. Uh, we certainly... Oh, there is. There's snow. There's snow on yon mountain. <laughs> We're only a couple of days into autumn and it's already snowing. Doesn't seem to worry Charlie Dog. Oh, yeah, great. Thanks, Charlie. Uh, yeah, so uh, in other matters, it's been raining all night. There's water everywhere. We're going to get some house wrap on and we might still need to embiggenate a few headers and walls and whatnot. If we're real lucky, we might see some windows in today. Are you excited? Are you excited to get some windows in? Yeah, you're just excited for breakfast at the moment, aren't you? Can you sit? Good girl. Would you like... Hey, more sitting. Oh, okay, drop. Would you like some breakfast? So lots of water around at the moment. For better or worse, our tanks are full. Our roof doesn't leak anymore. Got a nice bit of undercover area under the carport there. You can see there's a water line on the walls there. I'm real keen to get the rest of the walls wrapped up, get a little bit more watertight. If we can sneak in a couple of windows, all the better. So welcome back after a bit of a break. Keen to be getting back into it. Hopefully stay out of this rain. But check out that sunrise. Nice. Momentous occasion, again, we've got the first bit of glazing in, so we're just doing a little bit of wall wrap on the outside, got all of these clips holding uh, the edges of the windows in, we've got some weatherproofing paper that we've stuck to the outside of this frame, so it sticks against this edge and then it folds out around the wall, I'll show you, well, hello China dog. Covered in man glitter, coated in sawdust. <clears throat> so um, we've got a couple of windows in, which is really nice. One of them's glazed, which was quite heavy. We're working on another one now in the bathroom, but uh, like I've said before, the panel people and the window people didn't discuss anything, and we're really close on measurements. So we've got to take like 
I think eight or 10 mil out of this window frame to actually get the window to fit, let alone have space for us to pack it and fix it off and everything. So we've been planing and using a grinder with a really dangerous disc and all sorts of stuff just to try and get a little bit of uh, a space on the, on the head and down the sides. Um, it's a shocking day, it's windy, I'm hoping it's not too bad in the, in the camera but uh, it's really windy and it's raining and we were working on the windward side to start with so we sort of had the weather at our backs. Charlie Dog's still cranking along. So it's great to be working on the place again. It's been a bit of a task trying to find a building surveyor to take us on. We think we finally found somebody. We've signed a letter of engagement and everything for him in the last couple of days. So he's on board, we're right to work again. It's very different having glass in holes that we've, we've been using this as a doorway for the last few months, just walking in and out here. It's the closest thing to the shed. Um, but now that there's glass in there, we're gonna actually have to start using the door. When we first started putting these panels up, I think we were either in a rush or confused about the gaps that the nails need to be set at. We've got them here, I'd say that's probably 200. Um, they need to be 150, so I'm just gonna go through, bang another nail in between each of these big spans so I can sleep at night. What do you think about that, Charlie Dog? So back on the, I thought I was finished with this, but back on the coil nailer. And uh, we'll plonk some nails in, see how we go. So we had a pretty good day today, uh, even with some showers and wind and that sort of stuff. We've got a couple window frames in. We've got another frame ready to take a window. This guy over here behind me, which one? This guy here, that was hefty enough. Um, triple glaze, 2700 high, 13-ish, 13 1300 wide. It, it was significant weight. Um, the, <laughs> Yeah, this is, these, these ones here are going to be a problem. These are the guys for that front area. Let me give you some perspective here. They're laying on their side, so they're 2.7 metres tall. They're, they're 1,800 wide by 2.7 metres, triple glazed. PVC frame with steel reinforcing. I'm not looking forward to moving these guys. So I was talking with Alex earlier and he's got a mate that uh, sometimes gives him a hand with things and we're gonna try and get young Chris might come and give us a hand with these guys because they are gonna be hefty. But uh, yeah, reasonable day today. Looking forward to um, punching some more windows in. So I'm gonna go and put my feet up. See you guys in the morning. So here we have a sill tape. This is sort of a squishy, what would you call it, butyl perhaps, something like that. A couple of mil thick, sits on the sill. Stretchy enough that it folds around the corner, so we just run it into the corner and up. And that sort of folds around the corner and down the, on the face of the slab. Bacon. Gee, there's some weirdos around. That sounds weird. I'm all for picking one on toast. I'm all for bacon on toast. <laughs> Everything with bacon packed bread, though. Oh, so Vegemite. done. Apart from, Vegemite. Apart from Vegemite on toast. Got your Stringus Linus. Mm. 
Well, when it sticks, it's nice when it's not wet. Yeah. You all ready for this? I think. What can we do on like this? One there, one there on either side, walk it around and tilt it up. Charlie's found a nest in some sawdust. Is that comfortable and warm, Charlie Dog? You want me to move it? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? Back. 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 Get back. Charlie dog, you're gonna have to move. Don't you ignore me? <laughs> Don't you ignore me? Charlie dog, are you? <laughs> you're very cute, but you must move your paws, or they'll get a window put on them. Go that way, or this way. <laughs> this behind you seems like a good spot. Yeah. Are you ready? Really? I'm not. I might go home now. I've had enough. Uh, Is that the plan? Yeah, you walk lift it up, walk around, tilt it in, nail it off, go home. You're going to have to go to you just a smidge. No! Charlie dog! Now we're going to have to sit it on the ground first. Much to my dismay. Okay. Now, some tape out of the way.
What do you think, Charlie Dog? Are you excited? Charlie's very excited. We have a momentous occasion. Look at the size of this piece of glass. That is, I don't know. What do you reckon? 60? Here we go. 50 mil thick. Look at that. Two bananas. So we're uh, setting up to put this piece of glass in this hole. And like Alex said, I don't know if it's a good thing to film this first one, but we're going to anyway. We're leaving a little bit of a gap here just in case we need to pop that bead out again. Leaving the bottom ones as well. A little bit of a gap here so we can just pop that out nice and easy. Pull the whole bead off. Take the piece of glass out. Change what we need to and put it back in quite easily. So we had a good day today. Um, we got in another one, two, three, four window frames. We've glazed, two of them were already glazed and we've pretty much glazed the third. Um, they are hefty, They're, the frames are solid by themselves, um, but not too bad to lift. The glass is 40 kilos per square meter. So really happy with the way everything went today. The frames, <laughs> We had to embiggenate this one quite a lot. There's wood shavings and chips and all sorts of stuff outside on the ground and in here. Very happy with the windows themselves. The mechanisms are really nice. They're a Euro mechanism, so they, they tilt in. So they all seal really nicely. There's no gaps. The air tightness of these windows is amazing. Um, the glass is 50 mil, like I showed you before. It's it's a chunk of stuff. It's laminated on the outside and on the inside and there's a piece of float glass in the middle of two spaces, which is why they're so flopping heavy. I thought it was just float glass all the way through, but it's laminate, laminate, and I think four mil in the middle. Anyway, knock off. Charlie's just going to relax. She's been very busy all day. She's just been, you know, supervising. Haven't you? A supervising dog. Anyway, my battery's going flat. We'll hit it up again tomorrow. Um, I reckon we'll probably glaze most of the frames that we've got in. And uh, that'll be a really good day. Good morning. Guten Tag. Zdrast with you. Um, other stuff. G'day. It's a uh, Friday morning. Hooray for Fridays. I went ahead and did these lower couple down here. Didn't quite get to the third one before I had to go. So we've still got a little bit to do. 
but uh, very happy with the way it's starting to look. It's nice to see holes filled in and glass in its place. Um, I, I really like this corner. I like the way it sort of, I don't know, it's not empty anymore, <laughs> maybe. But uh, yeah, loving the way it looks. Quite happy with the colours. Keen to do a bit more. Really looking forward to having those fall through there, but not looking forward to having to do it anyway. It's turned wintry, but today's supposed to be a pretty reasonable day. We should get 22 or 23 today. Charlie Dog, what are you barking at? Come on, you weirdo. I know you've had your breakfast and you're keen to go inside, but you can be an outside dog today. <laughs> Charlie was very tired last night after her exhausting day of supervising and trying to nest on concrete floors. She's doing alright for a, what are you, 15 year old dog, 14 and a bit, something like that. You're still a pup. You're still a puppy, aren't you? She's a gorgeous puppy dog. She doesn't let me go too far when she's outside with me. She'll sort of hang around pretty close and uh, if I move from one room to the other, she'll actually get up and follow me. She's been loving this spot in here. <laughs> she's, she's wondering why it's all so closed up now, I suppose. But she was just hanging out on the floor down here before uh, yesterday as I was glazing these two lower windows. She was assisting me as closely as she could. It's funny to be inside and for there to be a definite... <laughs> Charlie, are you right? Definite barrier between inside and outside now that with the, with the glass. Um, it's going to take some getting used to, but I, I, I like it. Anyway, we'll get to it. <clears throat> Stop faffing about. next what do we call them low lights I suppose uh, this is a sash this is an opening window we've got a special little tool before we put our handles in place that we can put in there and open the window I think it's much easier to glaze these sitting flat than they are vertical in here then with the magic of video give her a clean out again And we're going to find a piece of glass that fits it, I suppose. Right, so we found ourselves a piece of glass. Seems to look like it'll fit. It's a chunk of glass. It does fit. That's good. Pop some yellow chocks in on those black supports. Locate some beads. Oh, good. Cool, so again, I haven't snapped these in.
goes back in. The really good thing about these windows is how tight they seal, and that's all because of this mechanism. It says one, two, three points across the top of the window where it actually pulls it into the frame and you can see it squash this little bead so if I turn this now it pulls it in and that creates the really airtight seal for all of these windows. So after a bit of a clean up and we've pulled all of the plastic protective film off the inside and the outside of the windows they're quite large frames unlike a dog its frame is Petite, shall we say. Slender. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so the frames are quite chunky. But uh, the glass is vast enough to sort of make them look uh, not too big for the size of the window that we get. So very happy with how they've all come out. It's getting rather echoey in here with all of the hard surfaces now with the glazing and stuff. Keen to get some doors in and start some cladding. I think I'm going to wrap this video up. It's sort of gone on for long enough. Got quite a few windows in. They're all glazed now. So hopefully in the next week or so we're going to get these two here and two here and those two and four and six and eight and it'll just all be much better. So thanks for joining us again. If you've come back, thanks for checking us out. If you're new, we'll see you soon.